Into my pocket you go. Oh, I was just looking for those.
need that. there. Are you friend or foe? Fascinating. You are an undead. I see the wounds and the paleness of the skin and the unearthly glow in your eyes. Incredible. be deeply honored if you decide to converse with me and answer a few questions. Non-binding, of course. Please excuse my poor manners. It is from the excitement of meeting a real undead of sound mind. I forgot myself for a second. After all, in this place, you have better chances of finding a fatal accident rather than conversation. Nothing pleases me more than a mind eager to absorb new knowledge. Diggersville? Initially, it was nothing but a handful of barracks for the mine workers. The town grew to its current size thanks to rapid development and connecting it to the larger railway network. For a long time, only the poor lived there, those who could not afford to move to Silver Peaks. Of course, now it's just another abandoned place, and doubtless proof that, sadly, some traits of our species are a constant. Exploitation, contempt, lack of empathy, misguided self-importance. Supposedly, most inhabitants manage to escape the disaster. Silver Peaks grew rich from local investments. It used to be a jewel in the region. Rich deposits of tin, iron, copper, and silver were all discovered in the mines. Deforestation added to profits, and hunting groups thrived. The biggest problem for Silver Peaks was that some residents believed that being masters was their inherent right and destiny. The riots were just the beginning for what came after, and the aftermath is clear. The area is full of natural caves and tunnel systems that predate any of the mines here. It is not surprising that some passages can be seen throughout the cross-section of the chasm. The chasm itself was created by a release of powerful energy, surely a result of a battle that was fought here. The two sides in that battle were an unknown entity and a military unit of the Alliance of the Iron Rose that apparently tried to subdue the creature. As a result of the clash, everyone involved died and the chasm came to be. Immediately, it became a lair to monsters people named demons. If I did not believe in science, I would assume they materialized out of thin air or came from another dimension. Unfortunately, that is all I know. I did not witness the fight itself, only the aftermath. The new residents occupying the chasm made any attempt to study this phenomenon very difficult. I need to invent a mode of transport for these dangerous lands. A self-driving carriage? 
The Ruguru could provide the propulsion. Hmm. Have you ever won? Like I said, I will not be staying here for long. Get on, but in return, you'll get me a bottle of good hooch. Just kidding. Everything only ends up going right through me. <laughs> what else do you want to know about this place? A long time ago, anyone could have had some real fun here. 
The residents still hated the city's bourgeoisie more than you, even when you were robbing them and extorting free drinks in the saloon. I almost pitied them. Can you believe that? But such was their ugly fate. Someone has to serve and work so others can steal and destroy. <laughs> ah, now the town's like a grave, repugnant like a real tomb. Good thing that some of my cash has survived whatever happened after I've left. The so-called elites lived there. Bankers, mine owners, and other businessmen, even some shitty nobility. Of course, not alone, no. They had their families and their servants, so someone could wipe their noble asses and bring them a hot cup of tea. This... You must think to yourself now, hey, hoodlum, why didn't you rob the fat cats instead of miners and such? Well, the answer is simple. I made that mistake once and paid for it dearly. The sheriff and his people, oh, they were good, bloody good. They hunted me for four days, and when they finally got their hands on me, they tossed me off a ledge and landed in the swamps. What? You wanna gossip? Not interested. Not in wagging my tongue or in that doctor. But if you think he might be useful for our purposes, go and talk to him. Or kill him. It makes no difference to me. He'll probably get himself in trouble anyway, walking around with a lamp in an area full of monsters. Or maybe he truly can take care of himself. Whatever. I have other things to worry about. <sighs> I knew you'd catch that one particular word from a flood of them. Like I said, I used to hang out here with my gang a long time ago. And as a good boss of murderers and brigands, I stashed some of the loot in safe places. Of course, time passed and some of them were found. Well, whatever. Give me your map. I'll mark a few places for you. Ah, that big hole in the middle of the town. No, nothing at all. Except it smells like a corpse and something really vile. Something else on your mind?
Advice, don't get back up. Alas, it's never enough. <laughs> Disgusting filth!
favorite thing. Sight.
need to inspect this closer. may be useful. this with me. It's mine now.
I do have a hoarding problem. first. Nothing shines as bright as I do. done.
That's a nice little thing. gets the job done. I may need it at some point. You never know. Things were different back then.
This may be useful. Ashes to ashes! The magic.
Anybody there? Did I hear something? Feeling this will come in handy. this. This land of you.
right. But barely. It's mine now. Oh, good. Ooh, nice vintage. Never know when I may need one.
And where am I supposed to put this, huh? Just what I was looking for. Welcome here! One and done. Things were different back then. Victims came in swarms. 
Well, well. You finished your part before I grew moss on my privates. Did you see the town? It's a ruin. And it's not even my fault. Can you imagine? Ah, the good old times. The present is just one big disappointment. Uh, did my ritual not work as well as I'd hoped? Can you even hear me? Do you suffer from memory loss or something? I've told you already. This will help us a ton with surveying our surroundings. And we need a bloody good reconnaissance if the plan is going to work. We need to find a way to build a totem of souls here. I really don't know how many times I'll be able to put you back together when you trip or fall into a Vendigo's Maw. You can't rely on my memory. Too much has changed. Even my favorite saloon is in ruins. It just so happened that during my recon I saw a light from afar. I don't know of any monster that uses a lamp, so it means somebody alive and civilized is here. We really should ask them a few questions. That's your job. Just try not to be trigger happy, yeah? Learn everything about this place first. Especially ask about big, mean monsters with a powerful soul. It is a crucial part of my plan. Without it, we can't summon a totem of souls. In the meantime, I'll look for a suitable place where the veil between the worlds is at its thinnest. Summoning the totem will be easier in such a spot, and we need it to keep us in shape. Seems fair, doesn't it? The totem started your undead existence, and without you, I wouldn't be here at all.
You must have come across notes about the fauna of these strange lands. I am proud to point out that the author is a good friend of mine. He is a man of many talents. Well, it all depends on how precise the question is and whether I possess knowledge on the subject. The probability of it being so is satisfactorily high. Ask, then, preferably in full sentences and with a sufficient amount of details. There is no scientific proof confirming the existence of a soul. Your question seems more appropriate for a theologian, which I am not. However, as a gesture of goodwill, I will attempt to answer your question, theoretically at least. A powerful soul would surely require a proper vessel, and as it happens, I know where you might find one. It is not far away from here. Not too long ago, I saw a suitable creature at the bottom of the chasm that cuts through town. I advise caution. The chasm is dangerous as it is and filled with unknown vapors among which lurk numerous creatures. Running blindly into any of these problems will be extremely unpleasant. I am afraid that even your undead condition will not allow you to reach the bottom of the chasm unscathed, but that is precisely where you will find your target. Of course, you are free to ignore my warnings and assess the danger yourself. Your choice. As it happens, the vapors have excited my curiosity before. You see, they do not appear anywhere else, and seem to be connected with the creatures living there. The only thing stopping me from proper exploration is a lack of certain basic ingredients. I will need something with a strong acidic property for analysis and to help me extract certain elements from other ingredients. That is a good idea. Why have I not thought about it before? I'm sure I have that gland lying around here somewhere, and it is quite fresh. I am also in need of the means to keep my equipment clean and in good shape. I am afraid my current stock is empty and we need to replenish it. I would prefer pure alcohol of the highest quality. Nevertheless, in these circumstances, the alternative must suffice. In fact, I do have a bottle of Red Steed. Kept it for a special occasion. How appropriate. The next problem to overcome is that we need something with regenerative properties. A species can be found in the vicinity that, after preliminary research, seems to display properties in its skin similar to those of a salamander. I think that other seekers and monster hunters call the species a demon. I am afraid we cannot work around it. It is a necessary ingredient. However, do not worry. The name Demon is just that, a name given to something unknown. 
There is no proof those beings originate from hell, or that hell exists at all, for that matter. To sum up, I am afraid that no matter how keen we are to proceed, we need to gather at least some of the ingredients. Thanks to your efforts, the only thing we are missing is living tissue with strong regenerative properties. Demons living in the area may inadvertently provide help in this matter. Good luck. I need to... You don't have...
this? That will come in handy. I can't. Fine addition to my collection.
This one will hurt.
this land of you! Now!
I can't. Have you seen those big
only advice, don't get back up! Come back!
need those. now. They need it at some point, you never know. They need it at some point, you never know.
Just what I needed. Whatever it is, it's mine now. Hellish spawn! Each region of the barren lands impacts the environment differently. It is as if the force responsible for their creation took the traits of the local flora and fauna into account, even the diversity and composition of the terrain itself. Incredible. Splendid. Show me what you've brought. Show me. Oh, well done. This will be perfect for our needs. Yes, this is the last ingredient needed to complete the fusion. Allow me to commend the effectiveness of your search. Make room. I need adequate space to conduct the experiment. Mm, yes, reaction as predicted. The smell is suspicious. Probably not dangerous, especially for an undead. Hmm. A drop of the solution at the end, and if nothing explodes, it's ready. I regret that the artifact is of makeshift variety, but it should keep you alive, even amidst the worst fumes and toxic vapors.
How can I help you? My gun already. Mmm, fancy. Sell it later, I guess. Righteous death!
find some bandages. This may be useful.
Stay dead, pal. Gets the job done. looking for those.
Two ashes. some ice. They need it at some point, you never know. Never have it. 
too much of those. Bullets, arrows, you need them all. supposed to put this, huh? say no to such a curiosity. It's never enough. What does this one do? Mmm, fancy. Hellish spawn!
fit anywhere.
Rest in oblivion. Out of my sight.
friendly advice. Don't get back up.
Much of those. You better stay dead, pal. This one. Strange.
Do with some more bullets. And stay down. You never have too much of those.
lost and recovered. Starting to run low. Disgusting 
filth. Yeah. You 
won't be missed. Oh. Come back. You're not welcome here. Ash 
ashes to ashes! This could kill a wild buffalo with one hit. advice don't get back up <sighs> I have a feeling this will come in handy <sighs>
This one better be good. Don't get back up. Gets the job done.
need those.
Say no to such a curiosity. Makes my skin crawl. Oh, good. Ammo.
this bleed. Right. Let's stretch those dead legs.
nice little thing. those. This land of you!
Back into the void! yesterday or was it hey. stuck? It's never enough.
better bandage that. Right on the mark. And done. Looks like a useful little thing. Rest in oblivion. Look at this beauty. It's never enough.
Fascinating. I see scarred wounds on
bullets and arrows need them all. Can't say no to such a curiosity. My new favorite thing.
box. Too much of those.
useful little thing.
One and done. Never enough. Never know when I may need one. Just 
I like where this is going. This hurts.
mark. on the mark. Stink filth.
can't shoot with rocks.
this land of you. Oh, it may be useful. Never know when I may need one. Looks like a useful little thing. Good. Ammo. Hey! 
Two ashes.
Just looking for those.
it's never enough. Could always do with some more bullets.
is the daughter of death. Here's some friendly advice. Don't get up. You have returned. Have you changed your mind and wish to be examined? Sacrifice yourself in the name of science? Hmm? <laughs> I jest. I jest. some point you never know.
Job done. What's this? Get into my gun already. Dead pal.
fine addition to my collection. my gun already. Reduced to ashes.
new favorite thing. now. Oh. I am the jewel that shines in the desert. My new favorite thing. Hey! Don't come back. Sell it later, I guess.
There's not enough space in my pockets. here. Definitely need a new bag or two.
Damn it, I need to make some space. Can't say no to such a curiosity. Guys for big jobs. Advice? Don't get hey. back up!
lost and recovered.
What do you mean I can't hold all of these? My new favorite thing. Starting to run low. One and done. each other very much.
control. I have it on good authority that you never refuse to help a lady in need. You really that surprised? What kind of company did you keep before? Just thinking about it gives me goosebumps. I shouldn't feel sorry for myself, but for you. Let's put that aside. Like bones after a bloody dinner. I need your help in getting my garments back. Skin, to be precise. Not just any skin, my skin! Do you think I parade Skyclad by choice? Believe me, I would rather be showing myself in a much better light. Alas, my property was stolen and hidden in the city. Lots more of those vile little people read too much nonsense and created magic salt circles and other symbols around their treasures. Those are impenetrable barriers for beings like me. That's why I need your help. The undead said you definitely agree. <laughs> He's a cutie, isn't he? Thanks, and good luck. I'll be waiting impatiently like a young Wendigo for fresh blood. It's good you're here. I was about to go and find you. While you were away, something amazing happened. A woman in need arrived at our place. Try to help her, yeah? Do that for me and I'll owe you. She's nearby, but don't get trigger happy, okay? You need anything? Or maybe you came back with something that will help us deal with our problem.
these to good use. Looks like a useful little thing. this one. See, it 
doesn't hurt now. It's never enough. Just wait until you see me. You'll never forget the sight. Oh, how beautiful it smells. Makes me recall the screams, the blood splattering on my face when I retrieved it. An event of monumental importance to each of us. An event one will never forget. <laughs> Thank you kindly. I don't think I'm going to let you leave here without a reward. You have the map, right? Give it to me. I'll mark some places for you. Secret dark places. Perfect for hiding victims. Or what's left of them. You know, winter supplies. <laughs> Go now. Even I need some privacy when changing clothes.
I knew I could count on you. Especially in matters as delicate as sweet Mary. She's marvelous, isn't she? I can't wait to see her wearing a new skin. Oh, all my bones rattle with anticipation. Oh, look at me, acting so juvenile. I need to calm down and think about something else. Right. How are other things going? Feeling this will come in handy. Can't shoot with rocks.
Rest easy, my friend. You won't be missed. Don't get back up.
new favorite thing. Mmm, fancy. Preparations, bathe, and spray myself with fresh blood. Does it look good on me? Oh, don't tell me. I'm aware of the creases and stains. I'll take care of them right away. Oh, dear. Is there something wrong with your size? Maybe you need a new pair of eyes. In times of abundance, I'd get fresh ones in a jiffy. Oh, that's what you're asking. Sometimes I forget there are <laughs> cultural differences between us. Don't you worry, though. I'm what people call a boo hag. An ugly name from an ugly human. Call me Mary. You ask as if you've never met a talking creature that's not human. You know, the ability to communicate verbally is not unique to Homo sapiens. <laughs> that sounded fancy, didn't it? I was eavesdropping on the dock and learned some new words. <laughs> But back to the point. Yes, I can talk. In fact, any of my kind can. I mean, could. Before they went completely mad. It's hard to put up with them since then. Yes and no. See, it's a bit complicated. Boo hags are many. Maybe you even had a chance to meet a few of those um, uh, less charitable ones towards strangers. Unfortunately, they all lost their minds a long time ago. Too much rotten meat in their diet. Not enough bone marrow. I always kept saying that. I'm afraid you can't count on any stimulating conversations with boo hags. <laughs> Except me, of course! I can't remember the last time.
Alas, it's never enough. Spit it out. Well, great job. You even managed to do it before the end of the world. All right, since that is now out of the way, time to find the right place. I found the promising spot, although it wasn't easy. See that big mountain? Cliché, I know, but I sense there the potential for a successful summoning ritual. We have a teeny tiny problem, though. Nah, that wouldn't be a problem. We just gunned down the beast, done and dusted. No, the problem is that the passage is closed. I sense that nearby spirit totems are somehow connected to the rest. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Go and investigate them. Make an offering, do a rain dance, gobble up some mushrooms, or just get plain wasted. They seem to react to a word. Skeetsy. Whatever it means. And don't even ask me how I know that. It's something from my past life. Details I've long forgotten. But the word came to my mind when I saw these totems. Sometimes I wonder how many strange memories have slipped from my head. And how many things I just can't remember. But enough about that. Go. You've got work to do.
Never enough.
Alas, it's never enough. What do we have here? Shoot with rocks. I am simply asking you to listen to what I have to say. I am certain that my friend vanished in these mountains. I would be immensely grateful for any information regarding his whereabouts and his health. He is an excellent, if somewhat flamboyant, scientist. 
For years, he studied the fauna of the barren lands, paying special attention to all manner of beasts. I do not need to explain how hazardous of an endeavor that is. Of course, he was well aware of the danger. He can take care of himself. His notes and observations are a unique and extremely valuable source of knowledge, as well as an attempt to document these strange lands and their inhabitants. During his travels, we kept in touch as much as was possible. Sometimes he would stop by and visit me at my former home. I know that he set out for the mountains a long while ago. Since then, I have not heard from him. I realize the likelihood of finding a single person in the mountains is slim. Nevertheless, you are a traveling undead, armed to the teeth. If you fail, who else stands a chance? Thank you. My friend, Frank Overmeyer, was a graduate of the University of Kentucky. Always impeccably dressed and clean-shaved, as much as traveling through the barren lands allowed, you will recognize him by a monocle and yellow elements in his garments, or by his notes. Maybe you have even found some of them yourself? If you find any trace of him or his whereabouts, please let me know immediately. In the meantime, do you require anything? Guys for big jobs. This one better be good.
a mode of transport for these dangerous lands. A self-driving carriage? The Rougarou could provide the propulsion. Hmm. Yes? What did you find out? Don't keep me in the dark. Slowly, and from the very beginning, what did you find? Yes. That is his writing style. His own hand wrote these words. The monocle belonged to him. Did you find anything else? Apart from that, the skeleton had no distinguishing marks, I presume? Shreds of cloth, visible bone damage, uh, evidence of previous fractures, anything? A part of me wants to deny what you have found. Let myself believe that it could not be him, that it was a member of his science team instead. But all the evidence points to my friend. Thank you for bringing me this news. Now, if you will excuse me, I need to be alone for a while. You don't have a linseed oil. Splendid. What fascinating. I... Each... You don't have a... stands open. Indeed, a job well done. Are you ready to enter the depths? Listen, you have to be prepared for anything. No one can predict what this horde of tormented souls might think or do when it gets here. Maybe everything will go smoothly, or maybe quite the opposite. Go now, and I'll move the camp closer to the entrance so I don't have to walk halfway through the mountain range. When it's all over and you come back, I'll be waiting with a bottle of something good to celebrate. We did deserve a celebration now. See you soon. Damn, monster. 
first. You think I should get a ring or something? And where will I find better clothes? But just look at her. <sighs> Gorgeous.
use a bag or two. Definitely need a new bag or two. Need to stop hoarding. Spicy. This may be useful. Not enough space in my pockets. I can't rem- Nope, won't fit anywhere.
never gets the job done. first. What do we have here? I need deeper pockets. Maybe I do have a hoarding problem. Need to drop something first. Circumstances. Yes, this place is perfect. The veil between our worlds is thinnest here. And this place, meat and bones, perfect building blocks for our new body. You did well, Spark. You just set your whole world on fire. As a reward for your faithful but blind service, you will receive a gift from us. You will be the first to see our birth in this world. You will become the first victim on our altar of immortality. Then we will feast upon this world and the creatures that inhabit it. We'll suck them dry. Freedom at last!
sweet thrill of victory. The villain is slain, the hero victorious, finally free. <laughs> My fool, you'll never be free. We created you, granted you powers and abilities that exceed those of mere mortals. And yet you are but a tool, a wayward soldier of a cause way beyond your understanding. Without us, you have no purpose. You will find no peace, no escape, no place to call home. As you wander aimlessly until the end of days, you will realize all you achieved was in vain. You will witness the spread of the curse and the end of the civilization of man. And there will be us waiting and you will grovel before us. For we are eternal, and you are ours for eternity. <laughs> <laughs>